welcome to Righteous Rock TV. I'm your host, TJ Rocker. We're here with... Behold the Kingdom. Kingdom. And uh, you want to introduce yourselves? My name is Joseph Belmer, and I do vocals. I'm Sebastian Salinas, and I play drums. I'm Riley Snyder, and I play guitar. My name is Mark Baker, and I play bass. I'm Derek Young, and I also play guitar. Great, thanks again for taking the time to do this for us. We're sorry we missed your set. Uh, the first day we got here, the heat was just out of control. Of course, it's still yeah, out of control. It's still, yeah, I think it's gotten worse as the week's yeah, been on, so. man. I think so. So, uh, what's going? How'd you guys meet? And uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, originally, I kind of, with another member, got a band started, and uh, that drummer was with us for quite a while. Kind of went through a couple different member changes, and uh, then we got these guys filled in for some other guys, and they took the spot, and the vocalist left, and we got Joe, and then uh, Sebastian actually some people from Colorado heard about us and said, hey, try out for this this band because their drummer left and needed a spot. Sebastian flew out from Colorado to try out for us. And, uh, we're from Ohio. Yeah, we're from Ohio, so it was a cross-country flight. And then, you know, he tried out for a week or two, and here he is. So, okay. Cool. Well, excellent. Uh, are you sure you didn't get um, him from the NBA? Uh, yeah. I've seen Joe play no, sports. No, I'm, not, I'm not good at basketball. Yeah, he's not. He's not. No. I'm not. Basketball's not much. I mean, he might be one of the best basketball players in the band, uh, uh, but that's not really saying a Mark's lot. pretty good. <laughs> right on, right on. So what, what's next for the band uh, as far as uh, dates, tour dates, or uh, an album? We're looking at, we've got a, a tour that I've been working on scheduling uh, for the end of August. Um, it's going to be about two weeks, August 17th through about September 1st. Um, there's some stuff in the works for all of September, so check out our Facebook. You know that that you know I, I don't want to announce too much of that yet because it's just way in the works right now. Um, and then potentially, we're, or and then we're playing uh, Unified Underground in October. So we'll be doing a couple weeks for like kind of a Midwest, you know, uh, East Coast kind of run there as well. That's in, in Maryland. So uh, we got some some kind of big things here in the next uh, next few months. Um, on top of that, you know, just write music. Uh, we got another album that's going to be released on Rob Wilder Records, uh, our, our sophomore album. Um, we're working on that as of you know, like right now, uh, right now physically, but you know, working on that, uh, hoping hoping to have it ready to record by like maybe January, February, we're looking at uh, probably early spring release, so. You know. Cool, cool. Yeah, check it out. Uh, what's the website, uh, address, and uh, Facebook? Uh, we don't have a website okay. as of right now, but we just, we're just we working on that. we got some of you work on that. Just check out our Facebook. Okay. Uh, it's just facebook.com backslash Behold the Kingdom. Um, and then, you know, you can find us on all the social media, Re Reverb Nation, we're on Twitter, Pure Volume, uh, Pure Volume, Pure volume. Sorry. MySpace, I don't know if anybody uses MySpace Yeah, we still do MySpace. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, got to keep up on it. I mean, we're yeah. on all, pretty much all forms of social media. We don't have Instagram yet, you know, but we'll be working on that maybe. Now maybe they, and also people can get your music on Amazon, iTunes? iTunes, uh, I know Amazon, uh, CD Baby, CD Baby, CD Baby. Uh, Big Cartel. Also, yeah, yeah, we have Big Cartel sites, beholdthekingdom.bigcartel.com. That one's really nice, uh, not to not to make a plug or anything, but uh, when, when, we, when you buy the albums there, or, or t-shirts, well, t-shirts with the albums there, they come they come directly from us. Um, we'll, we're even happy to sign them if people, you know, because there's, there's a thing for special notes, you can put in there and please sign, I can get a re-shrink wrap and send out. Oh, yeah. um, nice. So, so those come directly from us, all that money goes directly to us to help support the ministry. Um, oh, if you yes. buy them to other places, they kind of go to the label. Not that that doesn't help support the ministry, it definitely does, but... Um, so, any of those places, um, I know we're on Spotify. Spotify yeah. also. And then uh, pretty soon we should be on uh, Pandora. Pandora here in the next couple, in the next month or two. So, cool, yeah. cool. So, um, as far as how, how's your Cornerstone experience been uh, individually? I'm not sure a little bit about how it's been here. Um, this is only my second year, so like. Uh, Last year was pretty overwhelming just, you know, just for me. I've never been I've never been to any like outdoor festival like this before. But um, it's hot. But uh, the thing is like everyone's so cool, everyone it's like a big family. Like like you'll meet random people and they'll act like they've known you for years. So it's just like just a big fellowship and like meeting new people is really cool. I, I it's a great experience. I love it. Everyone's friendly, uh, just hanging out, you know, you just you guys talk about music, what you guys do, wherever you know they live and all that, and then sometimes you keep in contact, you share numbers, Facebook, and see what's up with everybody. I like that. 
Um, Cornerstone's been great. Um, it's been, I mean, you know, this year's really been uh, just just huge for us. Actually, we've had really good turnouts uh, every show we've played so far. Sold some merch, you know. Uh, not that we're really all about selling merch, but you know, it's great people are interested in the band enough to, you know, to spend their money on us. Okay, um, gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubt. Yes. Um, you know, but uh, Cornerstone has just been, been for me, uh, just an amazing experience, fellowship. A lot of times to spend around, you know, a uh, body of believers. It's just cool how you can pretty much walk up to anyone, like Joe mentioned, that you can just walk up to anyone and, and just start talking to them. It's like you've known them for years. Uh, we met a band, uh, just for an example, we met a band last uh, last Saturday, right before course, and we played a show with them a couple days before, and we hung out with those guys, and when they got ready to leave, it was like we were losing people we've known for years, you know? And, and it's just it's just great. Uh, it's cool how when you get around other spirit. You know, I talked about this in an interview we did the other day. How you get around other spiritual bands, something in your spirit just really jumps because you recognize something in their spirit. And uh, it's just Cornerstone. It's just been an absolutely amazing experience. The last I've been here three years now, um, and it's just every year you just get around to just great fellowship and just great people. So this is like my great. sixth or seventh year probably. So it's really a big deal for me. Uh, we were just back right before we came out and talked to you guys. We might have been a tad late because a buddy of mine from Chicago who couldn't come out this year, I met him maybe four or five years ago. His dad got put in the hospital with uh, heart, heart problems possibly. He's got some stomach issues going on. So I was back there praying with him over the phone with somebody else I met from Chicago through this festival. So it's just, you know, you become family and this is the last year for this festival. It's a, it's kind of a, a heartbreaking experience you know to say the least but uh so that's why I just spend the last amount of our time getting together with people we met and uh, fellowshipping uh, trading numbers you know trying to keep in touch because we're gonna have to do it elsewhere from here but it's just the family and the fellowship that comes with this place yeah yeah cornerstone this is my third year also um first year we came here uh i had to go through a huge change before coming because got out of a horrible relationship, it really, really broke me. But God just like started lifting me up and building me up. I'm just like, I'm about to go to this music festival. What do I, like, is there a mission for me to take with me, like, have? And um, it was pretty much like uh, the struggle against loneliness. So I pretty much brought, well, I didn't, the Father threw me. Uh, brought with me a uh, spirit of love and uh, one of the maybe second to last shows we played um, I didn't speak all week I met people it was that whole atmosphere of like you can walk up to anyone talk about anything kind of thing and everyone's like so nice to each other and um, just started speaking on this it's like you are not alone you are loved and it's like if you need somebody like in front of you to prove that you are loved that's why you have us this is the reason why Christ has ordained us to come and be a band is to show love to each and every single one of us and to like the kids like the kids that listen to our music strongly need that love and that encouragement and um, after uh, the words came out, I was just like, I had no idea what I said, but people came up to me, gave me hugs, was crying, and I spoke with them. And it that that's why, like right then and there, that was one of the things that really strongly made me want to continue in this. And that's the reason why all of us are in this, because we love to love people and we want Christ's love to be poured out on every single one of us and Cornerstone is a great atmosphere to be able to just walk up to anyone and be like hey is there anything that you need or what Riley just said do you need any prayer and all of us are willing to pray and um, like what he said about the big cartel thing like the notifications if you do buy something and you do have a um, prayer request add that into yeah. the uh, notification thing that the special, special notes. notes add that in there you may not need um, yeah. to go into detail if you want to go in you may but it just 
we just got to encourage and uplift each other because once we stopped it, there's a big problem because we need to be connected with each other because Christ is connected with us. So. Amen. Amen, amen. Th <clears throat> thanks for sharing that with us. And um, touching on what you said earlier, the, fir the first time I met Riley here, uh, that's how it was. It was like it was like we had known each other forever because we both know the Holy Spirit. I mean, the seeing the smile on this guy's face, and then when I was sharing with him, you know, why I was called here, and then he was sharing with me about, you know, how be behold the kingdom has come together. It was it was absolutely parallel. You know, uh, we were I was showing him my uh, my Star David ring. He was showing me a Star David necklace, and we were just sharing about Jesus. You know, uh, the whole time. And, and I think that's what it's all about, you know, like you were sharing with that. When you get in some of these tents and, and listen to some of these bands, you can just feel the Lord all over. Absolutely. It's unbelievable. I don't know. I'm sure fans out, uh, fans of this band and fans that have come to Cornerstone or bands that have played Cornerstones in the past that have experienced that so they know exactly what we're talking about, how the Holy Spirit's just so welcomed here. I just found out that uh, this is a total of 600 acres out here. And we're only on one third right now, but it goes way, way back, and it's unbelievable, you know, to see how God's moved in 29 years when there was no Spirit West Coast, there was no Creation Fest, there was no any of those festivals around. This was the only place Christians could come together and and, and do what God called them to do. Yeah. So it's it's been a great. Again, thanks a lot for taking the time. Have a safe travel back home, you know, and you know, and be blessed and know that. Uh, you can't wait to hear the next album. Also, well, yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can't wait to play it. Right. No, definitely. So thank you so cool, much. Cool. Appreciate Thanks it. God bless. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot. We Thanks. Do, Stay cool. Yeah, yeah we'll right. Try. We'll try. <laughs> We're going to go swimming, I think. <laughs> cool. Right on. Thanks. God bless. Thanks a lot.